Yo, what's up guys? Coming at you live from the old road bike. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Kuspo, Kuspo BC-107 bike computer, as well as the heart rate monitor and Cadence pod that comes with it. All right, so for those who are familiar, this is the old Amazon special. I've put between two to 3,000 miles on this bike computer, and so far it's been pretty stellar. I do want to go over some pros and cons. First pro, this thing comes in with the Cadence Pod, the heart rate monitor, and the computer was 90 bucks. All right guys, we're gonna do a post ride breakdown of this bike computer because I just got way into my ride and I never pulled the GoPro out again. So let's cover some quick pros and cons. I already covered one pro, price point. Comes, un <laughs> comes in under 90 bucks. So great value, especially given you get a, a cadence pod and a heart rate monitor for that price. Um, Accuracy, it's very accurate. I've put it up against Garmin's and Wahoo's on the same ride. It's mileage, it's elevation, it's speed, everything is spot on. Um, let's, oh yeah, let's jump over to some cons. Um, it, it it takes a little while to connect, so you just have to be sure to, to power it on and give it a little second to connect. Sometimes it takes a minute, sometimes it takes five minutes. So that is one thing to be aware of. Um, it does take a little bit to connect to satellites. Um, the heart rate monitor after about a year did have a few connectivity problems, um, but then randomly started working again. So it's been six rides now, I believe, with the heart rate monitor and it's connected fine every time. All right, so I wrapped up most of this review yesterday and then I went for a ride today and my heart rate monitor never connected. Um, so I think I need to go back on my last statement that the heart rate monitor problems were kind of fixed. You can't depend on this heart rate monitor. As for the GPS, I have yet to have a single problem. The thing is freaking accurate. Um, yeah, I can stand by the GPS, great value, but it seems like the accessories from Kuspo are still lacking. Um, the Cadence Pod is also not the best. I ended up losing mine towards the end of last year. I had to readjust where it was at, and it, the elastics, just whatever it came with, weren't the best. So, Cadence Pod already lost mine. It was accurate, but that was one one con. Another con is it doesn't have the longest or the biggest um, memory on it. And I didn't know that. I went on like a 50-something mile ride last year. I was stoked. I thought I broke broke a ton of PRs and it never sunk, um, synced, sunk, I don't know, to my Strava because there wasn't enough memory on the bike computer and there's no warning or anything. So kind of a bummer, um, just make sure to every month or so maybe clear the memory on your bike computer um, and back it up on Strava or Training Peaks or whatever you use. So that's the quick and dirty. I love this bike computer. Um, done, like I said, several couple thousand miles on it. I've had zero problems so far. If you're looking for a budget um, computer, I really can't like knock it. I've done eight, 10 mile rides on my gravel bike, all day stuff. Battery life is great. Connectivity in the middle of nowhere has been fantastic. All right, guys, I realized upon editing this last video that I am not as succinct as I'd hoped to be with this channel. So real quick to break this whole Kuspo bike computer down in the quick and dirty, would I recommend this for the average Joe? Absolutely. Would I buy this again? Absolutely. I think it's a great value for what you get and I think it works for any average Joe out there. If you like what you see here, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We just broke 100 subscribers. I really appreciate the support you've given the channel thus far. We've got some cool things coming up, so stay tuned. Take it easy, guys.